Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, people of God. I come with a quick little message to you guys this morning. My message on my message this morning to you guys is that um, God says he is not a runner. <laughs> you cannot pick him up when you need him and then discard him when you don't. God said you're supposed to seek him and seek him early. You heard me? He said you are not going to put him on a sh- only call upon him or make reservations with him when you need him, when you're going through something, when you need uh, to get where you're going or when you need uh, uh, guidance. You're not going to just call on him whenever you need something. He said, you have to choose this day. Make up your mind who you're going to serve, who you're going to do right, who you're going to believe in, who you're going to um, worship, who you're going to praise. He said, because he is not a runner. You cannot pick him up and drop him off when you feel like it. He said, you need to seek ye the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. He said, seek him first. He said, he wants to spend time with you. He wants to be a part of your life. He don't want to be in a temporary spot. He don't want you to just pick him up when you need him. He want to be constantly a part of your life. He wants to be with you. He wants to have an intimate relationship with you. He wants to get to know you. He wants you. He wants you to show him. How much you love him, how much you care about him, how much you're willing to go to war with him, how much you you willing to do these things. He wants you to show him that. He says that's what he's that's what he's waiting on. He's waiting for you to show him that you this is permanent between you and him. He said he's tired of these temporary situations. He tired of you using him. He's tired of him. He's just tired. He said he wants to have a relationship with him. Either you have a relationship with him or you won't have a relationship with him. He said, but that's what he wants. He wants to have a relationship. He wants to have a relationship with you, and he wants your relationship to be strengthened. He wants your bond to be strong. He wants he wants you and him to sit down and talk early in the morning, in the evening, late at night. He wants y'all to talk. He wants y'all to communicate. He don't want just want you to pick him up when you just need him. He don't want none of that. He said he wants you. He wants all of you. All your attention, your mind, body, soul, and spirit. He said he wants all of you. He don't want half of you. He don't need half of you. He need all of you. He need he got a mission for you to. He got an assignment for you to do. And he wants you to take care of this assignment that he needs you to take care of. He said, but you got to get out your own way. You got to stop picking him up only when things going bad for you. He said, hell, he needs you to praise him when it's bad, good, or whenever, when it's raining, storming, and when it's calm. You got to be able to praise him. You got to be able to thank him. You got to be able to look up to him. He said, he don't want you to keep picking him up and dropping him off. He don't want that. That's not what he wants. He want to have a real relationship with you. You heard me? He he want to be your owner. That's what he said. He want to be your owner. You heard me? He said he don't want to be in a temporary situation. He said because him being your owner is going to allow him to bless you with many things. But you got to get out of your own way. You got to be able to surrender. You got to want him to be your owner. You got to want him to pull these blessings into you. He said, but that's all he's trying to do. He's all he's trying to do is bless you. Bless you with abundance. Bless you with freedom. Bless, bless you with joy, peace, happiness. He want to bless you with these things. And he said, it's like you don't want to be blessed with these things. And he's trying to give you. He said, he's trying to give you these things. And it's like you're, re- you're neglecting and rejecting the blessings that he's trying to give you. He said, he don't understand why you're re- rejecting the blessings he's trying to give you. Don't fall for the trick of the enemy and the lies that he's trying to give you. Making you think that the temporary situations that he's, that he planted, uh, trying to provide for you. It's better than the ultimate thing that God is going to give you. God said, don't let nobody fool you into thinking that that his will and his way is not right for your life. Because it is right for your life. He says his his children know his voice in the voice of a stranger. He shall not follow. So guess what? He's telling you guys. Y'all need to pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Stop trying to allow circumstances and situations to make you use him temporarily don't use god temporarily use him all the time all the time i don't care what it is you're going through your stomach hurt call on your ear hurt call on them your hungry call on them you hear me your bills need to be paid call on them your children acting up call on whatever the circumstance the situation is call on him for everything stop calling on him and using him just for temporary situations when he's calling you to use him for always use him 
any hour, any second, anything. He's calling. He, you could call on him. Don't just use him when you need him. Always be there with him. Always spend time with him. Have an intimate relationship with him. Let him know your sin. Let him know it's you and him in this thing against the world. Because he say he's tired of being played like a runner. And I understand him. He say he's tired of being played like a runner. When you need something, you guard this and you call on him or whatever. When you don't need nothing, you, he don't hear from you. He say he's tired of being played played like that. He said he needs you to get it together. He needs y'all to wake up and see what y'all doing. Work on work on the things that y'all doing. Make yourself better, he said. He said he's calling on you and he needs you to do these things. Well, it's your girl Bree signing out. Peace.